Alibaba Quen has released Quen 2.5 Omni. This is their new flagship end-to-end -end multimodal model. So this model uh, can take input including text, images, audio and video while delivering real-time streaming responses through both text generation and natural speech synthesis. So this model can take text, images, audio, video and output can be in the form of text or natural speech. So this model has been released on Hugging Face. This model is close to 10.7 billion parameter. In this video, let's try out this model in a collab notebook for some tasks like video understanding, uh, speech recognition, speech translation, etc. And we can also look into the high level architecture of the model. First, let us look at the capabilities of the model in their own demo video. So in their demo video, they show that you can give a, a PDF paper as input and it can actually, you can ask the model to, you know, generate a summary for wow. this paper. This paper is about and the then, transformer model for machine translation. So it generates the summary and then it converts it into speech, right? The very first use case they show over here is that there is this a kid who is drawing a guitar over here and you are asking the model to take a look at what I am drawing. Take a look at what I'm drawing. Oh, it looks like you're drawing a guitar on your tablet. So the model generates the output that you can, uh, you are drawing a guitar. Okay, so it can take screenshots and from the screenshots it can actually interpret and it can generate text and voice as output. Another use case where they show is that there are multiple persons in the meeting and each person is actually giving a small introduction of themselves. Hi, my name is Wei Xiping. I'm an engineer of Alibaba. My research. My name is evaluation of the Omni And then this person is actually uh, the person who is in charge of evaluation of the Omni model. And then this person then asks like, Music understanding. What's He Jinjin's job? Does he wear glasses? His job is responsible for post training and evaluation of the Omni model. And yes. So it is able to understand the different persons in the video, what they are talking about, and then it is able to generate outputs based on your query, right? And it is able to extract that information from the video and it is able to present over here. Okay, so they have shown uh, many such use cases over here, like what is the weather or something over here for this Look particular right image. Across from where you are, it has a big sign that says Shansi Dashao Man, which means Shansi Knife Shaved Noodles. So this is video you understanding of this of scenery, dishes. right? Uh, basically, this particular uh, you know location, oh, and, and noodles, it's like I... this person is actually asking for restaurant selling noodles, and then this model is looking at this video and saying these restaurants are available, and you know where noodles is available. So they have shown many such use cases over here. This is about understanding music. Right. Uh, this is about you know recipes and what you can uh, ingredients for recipes and other things. So it's actually able to do a lot of these kind of tasks. So I thought I will try it out. So let's actually try it in a collab notebook. They have uh, provided recipes over here for video information extraction. They have produced uh, recipes for universal audio understanding. So I thought we'll try out these two things over here. Okay. So let's look at our collab notebook. Uh, so for this particular model, uh, I am using a 840 GB. Um, GPU and it has taken close to 23.4 GB over here. So the memory requirements they say over here for this particular model is um, GPU memory requirements is actually uh, let me go down over here for 15 second of video it is close to 93.56 GB if it is FP32 precision even if it is BF16 it is 31.11 GB. So you need a good GPU graphics card for uh, you know GPU with good uh, GPU memory at least above 40 or 48 GB for running most of your tasks for this particular model. Okay. So let's go over here and let's uh, try it out. So first what you need to do over here is that you need to install Quen Omni Utility Card. This is for the video, uh, you know, processing video and other tasks like that. Um, then you need to install Flash Attention, okay, in this Collab Notebook. Then you need to install, uninstall the existing Transformers installation. This is very important and install it from this particular branch. Then you install Axtrate, Quen Omni Utils, OpenAI and all. So here they have actually provided with an inference function for video. So if you look at the system prompt over here, uh, there is system content system prompt in the user content you have text which is your prompt and the video path right so here um, you apply this particular chat template to your inputs and then you use the model to generate you process the model over here and you use the model to generate the output okay and you are processing it to get the text so you are trying to do video understanding and get a text output here you are loading the model okay standard uh, thing you need to provide a hugging face access to this particular model it will ask for this for the very first time when you run this particular model so you can add your hugging face token over here and you can enable it for this particular notebook okay so once you do this this is for displaying the video so here i have this particular video of a bird right near a water body it is looking out for some food right so that is the input video and the prompt is what can you see in the video that's what i'm asking so i'm displaying the video and i'm trying to get the inference by sending this video path and the prompt okay system prompt is you are a helpful assistant it generates a very good output over here saying that in the video a small bird with a mix of brown orange black feathers is seen standing on the grass near a body of water the bird appears to be foraging or looking for food the background shows a blurry view of the water which reflects some colors and the surrounding area is green with some small plants the bird moves around slightly uh, possibly searching for something on the ground excellent output Okay, I gave another video over here. Uh, this is a 
what you call a person shopping in a vegetable market so if you see over here you have tomatoes you have lemons beans cucumbers dates right so i asked what is this what fruits are present in this video it says tomatoes avocados lemons dates green beans is not a fruit but still it is um, now showing it over here cucumbers okay it's vegetables it says the video shows a variety of fruits and vegetables the fruits visible in the video are tomatoes avocados lemons dates yes they are fruits green beans and cucumbers are not fruits but still uh these items are displayed in the marketing setting with while well, people walking around and interacting in the background i'm i like this output really okay then i gave another uh, input where we have this decorated chimes okay swinging in a particular shop here also it gave a very good output that video shows a collection of handmade wind chimes and decorative items hanging from the ceiling in a shop or display area the items are made of various materials such as shells beads and other natural elements the wind chimes are suspended by strings and wires and they sway gently likely due to breeze the background features a green wall man this explanation is really good i am very impressed with this model of just 10.7 billion parameter size doing such good video understanding okay so now uh, i'm um, this is for audio so i'm again creating an inference function see all this code is actually from these notebooks which are present over here they are code books so you can also look into it right uh, this is not actually my code i have just copied the code from there and i'm trying it out i have just renamed the method as audio inference because i had an inference method earlier so here the chat template is slightly difficult uh, different basically here you are putting type audio and you are, you are giving the audio path and the processor takes the audios and images as input over here if videos are present video also and then you are trying to generate text out of it okay so here is a uh, this thing right the first task is actually transcribe the english audio into text without any punctuation marks here is the input mr quilter is the apostle of the middle classes and we are glad to welcome his gospel this is the input audio this is the output which comes mr quilter is the apostle of middle class and we are glad so it has done a very good job of you are transcribing the audio into text okay uh, so basically this is speech to text okay then this is listen to the provided english speech and produce a translation in chinese text obviously i'll not be able to understand chinese but then i can copy this and put it into uh, Google Translate and see. Okay, let's play the audio. Mr. Quilter is the apostle of okay, middle classes. Okay, same, Mr. Quilter is the apostle. Well. Okay, fine. So let's go over here and say let's uh, Chinese to English. Chinese to English. Uh, okay, let's place paste it over here. Yeah. So it's a Chinese translation. So it says Mr. Quilter is an apostle of the middle class, and we are glad to welcome his gospel. Which was the text which was present over here. So it has done it amazingly. This is about sound classification. So here you have this sound. <coughs> more like a cough so it says that you know this uh, sound is actually cough so here the prompt is classify the given human vocal sound in english so this was the sound part of it i right, it's a pretty impressive uh, model i would say now let us go into a little bit about the architecture of this particular model let's try to understand a little bit about what is the architecture of this model right so if you look at the architecture over here of the model they have something like a quen 2.5 omni thinker and a quen 2.5 omni talker okay to which you give a video over here input it could be text uh, your text prompt is given as an input your audio is present right uh, and the output is actually your text as well as your speech so that is what uh, it tries to uh, get as an output okay now if you go a little bit into details in the paper over here what they are saying is that quen 2.5 omni is a unified single model capable of processing multiple modalities and generating text and natural speech responses simultaneously in a streaming format to tackle the first challenge we propose a novel position embedding uh, embedding approach named tm rope which is time aligned multimodal rope this is a position um, uh, embeddings for you know getting the output uh, natural speech responses in a streaming format as well as text this thing um, so what they are saying is that they organize the audio and video frames in an interleaved structure to represent video sequences in time order so to get the video sequences in time order this is the multimodal uh, rope okay their position uh, novel position embedding approach uh so interleaving structure to represent videos uh, and uh, what you call video frames and audio for the second challenge that is getting the you know uh, what you call uh getting the output in streaming format and natural speech as well as text they are creating this thinker talker architecture where the thinker is tasked with text generation while the talker focuses on generating streaming speech tokens so the talker receives high level representations directly from the thinker This design is inspired by the way humans utilize different organs to produce various signals which are simultaneously coordinated through the same neural networks. As as a result this architecture is end to end jointly uh, trained with each component dedicated to generating distinct signals. So this is how they are uh, doing it. Okay? To address challenges associated with streaming and to facilitate the pre-filling necessary for real time comprehension of multimodal signals, they propose modification to all multimodal encoders by adopting a block wise streaming processing approach. so in order to uh, support streaming speech generation they implemented dual track auto regressive models that generate speech tokens alongside a diffusion in time model which converts these tokens into waveforms thereby enabling streaming audio generation and minimizing latency 
Okay, further details are present in this particular paper. The key idea is this particular thinker and talker. So what they're saying is that to unify the modalities for video, what they are doing is that they are interleaving video and audio. You have a vision encoder, you have an audio encoder. These are video frames and audio uh, this thing, right? So um, that is what they're doing over here. And your text is also present as an input. Uh, the prompt basically that is given to the thinker. The thinker's main task is to do the interpretation and of this and generate text output. And it also the talker takes um, you know input from the thinker and then it generates the audio very high level description of this model further details are present in this paper you can check it out um, and you can understand more about the particular architecture so what this model is capable of is real time voice and video chat natural and robust speech generation strong performance across various modalities when benchmarked against similarly sized single modality models excellent end to end speech instruction following that is what they are showing over here Okay, other benchmarks and performance is present over here. I'll not go into it. I'll put all the relevant links in the description of the video. You can check out. Hope this video was useful. This is definitely a very interesting model and it has an Apache 2.0 license. So it can be used for commercial purposes as well. Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.